So in this video, we're going to talk about Georgina's Kumiko lamp, uh, Kumiko journey, and uh, some other bits and pieces. So we're going to have a different sort of video this time because I've got Georgina in the workshop and I want to go through some of Georgina's work um, which has been fantastic over the last three years. So here's Georgina. There's Georgina. And this is really embarrassing because we don't normally do this. But I wanted to show you, I mean, look, this is, this is what Georgina does. And um, Georgina came to me, Georgina came to me after doing a, you were doing a college course and you did a couple of months. Tell us about the college course. Uh, I went to a local college, um, signed up for an evening class, just carpentry, something I was quite interested in learning. Yeah. Um, after a few weeks, I realised it wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Um, it was a bit sort of rough and ready. <laughs> um, I'm more into craft things. Um, and then I must have been looking at around and I saw you advertised for woodworking social which just sounded a little bit more up my street. Yes, yes. I, I, I sort of sold it as a woodworking social so that it was more than just the woodworking. Um, I must say you'd already been here to the Ruskin Glass Centre yeah, um, and done some workshops here. Yeah. So what had you done before here? I've done some stained glass and fused glass. Um, and I thought it'd be quite nice to be able to make my own frames and things for that. I yes. I really expect to go this more than that. Yes. And, and, and the thing is, I'm a, I'm a bit of a... So let, let's start with... So, so let's go back to me. Blur. Georgina came with a certain amount of skill anyhow. And you work with your hands. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that's really good. Uh, I looked at what, what Georgina had done, as well as the fact she'd done glass and was into, knew about tools and holding tools, which is more than some people do. More than a lot of people do, really. So anyhow, what did we start with? Because my normal route, let me just show people what my normal route is. The normal route for people is I get them to make a mallet. But we missed that out. You missed that out, didn't you? Hmm. I decided to make a box for my chisels. Right. I just randomly bought some chisels. Ah, yes, the chisels. Oh, we've got a ah. And and the other thing is, the college, mm. they didn't teach you sharpening. No, the, the chisels were exceedingly blunt. Yeah. And planes? Oh, I didn't even use a plane. Didn't um, you? I don't know if that's part of it. Okay. So so you came and you came with these chisels. Let's have a look at your chisel. So this is George, so this is your first real go at woodworking in here, yeah. and you started with a dovetail box um, for your chisels, which is great. And the lid's a bit tight, but that's okay. That's good. <laughs> the wood um, And we came up with this, didn't we, so to keep everything in place and nothing moved. So that's pretty good. But the dovetails, let's just, I mean, the dovetails are, dovetails are great. So very good, pleased with those. Um, and your chisels needed a lot of attention as well, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Backs weren't very flat, so we had problems with those. So we got that sorted. Um, there, are, there are certain elements of, of this woodworking that you're not keen on, aren't there? What are the elements that you're not keen on? Because this is fabulous work. Uh, Sharpening's not my favourite job. No. Making things flat or straight is quite hard. So the worst bit for that of that box was the lid. Why? Uh, it's actually made out of three pieces of wood. Yeah. Um, which looked rather like bananas when I started with them. Right. So I had to learn to plane properly, basically. And it's not, it's not that... It's really hard. No, it's, it's not that <laughs> bad. But you found it. Yeah, you had fun with it. It a long time. It did, didn't it? You think it's a long time, but it probably wasn't really. I think what happens is if you take it home, if the piece isn't, goes out the workshop, it can dry out, can twist a little, mm. and then come back. With, I've had it with somebody else's box recently, so I that's... I'm trying to store it flat, but I, yeah. it, it does move. But I've got to say, the, the lid goes on the box, which is great, and then the box goes in its own 
You've got your own... Um... I made a little bag for it. It's nothing fancy, just to protect So there you go. So this is, yeah, this is the attention to detail. We don't want any, the box getting damaged, so the box goes in its own bag. So then, did we move on to the Kumiko lamp? I think we did. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. So you wanted to do something... What was the... I, I, I think I mentioned Kumiko. Yeah, you showed it to me. Did I show it? Did I sell I it? I would like it. I yeah. I mean, the thing is, they are beautiful. Um, this took a fair while, didn't it? Uh, and we had lockdown in the middle. Yeah, it took a lot of my sanity. <laughs> yes, yes. So so what, we've de what we designed... Well, let's go to the beginning. Before we could start, I said to Georgina... We've got to draw it all out. So it's all been drawn out. Um, methods. Oh, I love this little bit. Let me just put that down. Keeping an eye on what pieces go where. So you've got a lovely little book with all your notes in, which is great. Um, and how you do things. And I love this sort of thing where, you know, it's not right. So you scribble it out, but it's still there. No, it needs to be there because you need to be able to remind yourself to stop making a mistake. Or, But from... From this and that, we went on to start to make the jigs, didn't we? Yeah, I had to calculate the angles of all of these, you know, various components, um, which involved a bit of maths I hadn't used for a long time. Um, plan what it's going to look like. And Cutting list. Cutting list, yes. The cutting list was important for me. I wanted to make sure that you got a cutting list and you just how much timber was going to go into this. Um, and I think it did involve two trips to the timber yard mm. because um, we use quite a standard 12 mil square timber um, and then ripped it down and then it had to be planed. So anyhow, drawings, cutting lists diagrams of how things are going to be done um cutting lists are really important anyhow and we and we used an old lamp in there didn't we we used reused a was it an old lamp was it we reused a very cheap um, new lamp yeah. can we turn turn this upside let's have a, so there you go so there's the fitting in the bottom and it's rice paper inside so that's lovely oh it looks great it's japanese Oh, don't, don't know. Right. Don't know. Right, let's have a quick look at the jigs. Right, yes. So we had to make these jigs, uh, a few of them, and that was the one to get the timber the correct thickness, wasn't it? Yeah, has to be all uniform. Now, what I did, what we did with this jig, was I think I glued down this piece and that one and left that one loose, so that if it fluctuated at all. Um, we could still, you know, we could make that piece a bit thinner to get that in. So that was good. You spent a while with that jig, didn't you? Yes, quite a long time. Yeah. Um, and the plane was set up, and what we tried to do was not sharpen the plane too often so that it did all of the timbers so that they all end up similar because they all have to be notched out. So all these little notched out pieces, you want all of these to... You want the same thickness throughout. And then, was was this jig done for cutting the cutting those? I think that was just to assist me in cutting a straight line. Ah, cutting square. Okay. And then I made these so that we could get... So I'd not made any before. Um, and these are the jigs used in the vice. And the, these are still set up from making pieces. That's it. And then you chisel the end off and then you t rotate it and chisel that. And that's your 45. This is your, is it 16 and a half? 22 and a half. And that's your 61 and a half. So we've got three different jigs for that. Yeah, I thought it was going to be complicated, but it was actually more complicated. Right, okay. But could you see yourself with just a couple of, and just making a couple of little frames? I see myself doing something a little simpler. It took a lot of patience. It did. And it's, and it's great, isn't it?
It's a wonderful lamp. So, so you've got four side frames, and the top one. I think the top one was the first one. You was that? No, you did a practice one as well, didn't you? Right. Okay. So yes, it was a. So there's a practice one for there. Then there was that one, and then the four panels, um, which looked great. Then we got some walnut off one of the other guys, off Michael, which was wonderful. Um, and those. Those are all, what joint have you used on here? Um, mortise and tenon joints. So they were mortise and tenon. And we had some fun fitting some of these panels, didn't we? They were all supposed to come out the same, but they didn't. So everything had to be sort of customised. Custom fit. That's okay. It's good practice with the plane and it works in the end, doesn't it? So, Right, that's brilliant. Well, thank you. That looks great, though. I love it. I love it. I wished I'd have made one. I should have made one at the same you time. You kind of did though, didn't you? Because there's no way I could have made, got through all of that on my own, figured it all out. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but I still haven't got one, have I? You've got one. <laughs> I get to live in my house. Yeah, you've got one at home. I haven't. I've got. I've got half a frame done. It does look fab. The colours. I just love the. I just love the way that the. The light comes through and you get that shading near the areas of joints. It all looks faded and, you know, here. I love all the... Yeah. Oh, it's just... Oh, I'm glad you did it. Looks great. Looks brilliant. I'm glad you did it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it again. Maybe just because it was such a lot of work. But I'm really glad that I did it and I really love it. I love it. Every time I switch it on, I, have, I actually smile. There you go. Yeah. Well, there you go. And that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Right, there you go. That looks fabulous. Love it. Thank you for bringing it in. Cheers.